I am not being paid by Canva. Um, I'm not an employee of Canva. I don't own Canva stock. <laughs> I have no affiliation with Canva except as a user. And now I'm near an evangelist was introduced. When DG Suzanne was like, use Canva. And I said, oh God, no, not another thing. But then I started to use it. And now every time I turn around, I'm showing it to someone and recommending mm -hmm. it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my screen and I'm going to show kind of the things that we created as, as a district, maybe even some of the stuff I created for work, talk about how it works, and then make a video. Um, and we could do a social media post. So I'm going to share my screen. So Canva is canva.com. And there are different packages you could get to purchase this site. So I started off on the free version. So the free version is a really great way for you to get in there and start to play around. And this is what I would recommend that you do. But then I'm also going to recommend that you buy the pro version. The district sprang for the Teams Canva. So for $120 a year, we have five people who have access to pro level graphics and assets that we could put into the things that we create. So if you look right here on the top left where my cursor is, we have the Rotary 5160 team. So, it, um, and these are the other teams I'm on. So my club, we do this thing called Rotary Supports Restaurants that we did during COVID. So I have a Rotary Supports Restaurant team. And then Vera Martinez, who was supposed to present with me tonight, but she's stuck in LA traffic right now. Um, she and I are on a team because she's the one who assists me with creating um, a lot of the district social media posts. So your teams are listed here. What I love about Canva is that you can put in your branding, whether it's your personal company, your Rotary Club, and there's a whole section where you put in your logos, whether it's like your company logo or an initiative logo or a district governor's theme, oh. the international theme, all of that is in here for you to use. You put in your color palette, you put in your brand fonts and Canva stores this all. So whenever you create a new poster or whatever you create, all of this is stored in Canva for your use. Um, so we'll go back home. So the, your left navigation bar right here is really handy. So the things you can do, um, Facebook post is something I do quite commonly. You could create a cover, that cover photo, that long rectangular photo across the top. You could create a flyer, a video in different formats. A YouTube video is that horizontal format you see like in movies. Infographic, you can do, oops, I went too fast. A presentation, a graph, a Facebook video, which is more of a square shape, a photo collage that you might find helpful even in your own personal life when you wanna post something that has multiple pictures. Um, you could do other video, A4 document, create a logo, create an Instagram post, create a poster, do a resume, create an Instagram story or your story. And Canva is actually about to change. They're gonna be on steroids. So they're gonna have documents. They're gonna, you will be able to create websites, whiteboards, videos where you could take out the background and add in a different background. I mean, that's so high end. Um, print products and presentations, so personally, I have printed products with Canva. I had posters made. And so I can show you some of that. And down below here are recent designs. So this is a combination of people's work because we are on a team. So this is a video. I'm not sure no. how many have seen this video that I created using Canva the very first time I used it. And what it's flipping through is different snippets of video that I added. Um, part of it is Canva video. Part of it is video that I uploaded. This is a template for Hispanic Heritage Month, a Canva created template that Vera created a post for Hispanic Heritage Month. 
and this is another template that Vera used, a Canva template. So she didn't design this. These are designed by Canva, and you could change all the elements out to make it what you want it to be. So these are social media posts. This is a post um, originally that Suzanne created, or maybe Heather, for the um, Fall Festival yeah. of Learning. Yeah. This is a poster I created for our president's kickout, where we were saying that she was um, the president of a country called Rotaria, um, because she would do a, a country a, a week or country a month. And so we said she went mad at the end of her presidential year and created her own kingdom of Rotaria. <laughs> so, and then I was able to come to here, print the posters and have it delivered to my home. And I got to pick the size. I picked a large size. One poster was $25. And then they delivered it pretty quickly to my house. Super easy to create that poster. And we're going to dig in and we're going to actually create something this evening. But I was just monkeying around with Vera and we were just creating stuff just on the fly. So, for example, um, I want to sell stereo components. We're remodeling our house and we have these ancient stereo components. I created a collage. You could also upload pictures from the internet and... Mm -hmm. There's so much you can do in Canva. So this is just some of what we created. I mean, if you look at some of this stuff, this looks like a professional graphic artist created it. And this is a template in Canva. And you put in your pictures, you change the text yourself, and then you can either print it, you could save it as a PDF, you could save it as a photo, there's so many ways for you to use what you create. You can make a program, a brochure. So there's so much you could do. So we're going to create a Facebook post. So these are all, again, created in Canva. And you, if you were on the district Facebook page, you might have seen these and thought maybe we got them from someplace else. But we, non-graphic artists, non-professionals, hobbyists, have created these things ourselves. Like even this one, this one I created for work and this is an actual flyer. And so we've disseminated this to defense attorneys, probation, bail bondsmen. And this is all just layering images, layering text to create this, putting in logos. So let's go ahead and just dig in and create something. So we're going to create a Facebook post. And so you tap that icon. And up on the side here, on this left navigation bar, you see we have templates. So we are in the templates section. So they have all these different templates that you could use. So if you wanted, let's say we want to do something with polio. Let's see if they have anything. I didn't check. They have different things for World Immunization Week coming up. So we could actually just use something that they created, but we want to brand it. So I don't know if you're able to see right here, it says logos. Mm -hmm. And remember I showed you on that brand item on the homepage, how all the uh, logos were uploaded. So I hit logos. Oh. And then I want to use a logo that's going to stand out against yellow. Oh, wow. So I'm going to pick this one. Boom. Oh. You know what? No. See how that yellow goes on yellow? Yeah, right. Let's delete that guy. Let's go maybe white. Right. And then when you drag this, it'll keep the dimensions, but change the size. So it's not going to, like, sometimes when you monkey around with something, it changes it so that it, it, you know, becomes too long or whatever. So then you can just resize it to however you want it, whatever location you want it in. So you decide, and then, oh, that's not our website. So we want to send them to, you know, Rotary District 5160. But you know what? That's not our brand color. I want to change it. So you go up to colors, and you'll see our Rotary branded color palette is right here because oh. Heather Vilhauer put it in for us. So now oh. we made that our Rotary blue. And, you know, 
drag that right there. And then I want to change this to another branded color. For some reason, I thought this hot pink would be a great idea. So then there it is. It's in hot pink. And then this is ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I could, you know, change it however I want. And then since our district uses both Facebook and Instagram, I want to wow. create this for both formats. So I say resize this, please. And I'd like it to be Instagram. Boom. Copy and resize. And here it is for Instagram. And now I might say, you know what? I think this is too small. Let's make this bigger. So either I can do it up here like this, or I could just grab one of the corners and drag it and make it bigger, which I find to be much easier. So grab, make bigger, grab, you know, let's make this bigger. And then um, now here's something amazing, you guys. You go back home, and one thing that we've really taken advantage of is the fact that Canva isn't just to create graphics. You can use it as your social media planner, your content planner. So you can come once a week, create a bunch of graphics, you know, whether you're having a Blackberry Pie Festival or a, a car wash, a walkathon. Uh, a special presentation with a great speaker. You can create that post and then you come to the content planner. And this is a shared calendar. So uh, DG Suzanne, Vera, myself, we create these things and then we come into our calendar and let's say we want that to run on the 21st. We hit the plus button. And then we just created, we'll go this one because it's not showing because it hasn't loaded yet. So here it is. So this is our Facebook one. I know because it's more rectangular where Instagram is a square. And so from the content planner, I have loaded up three social media platforms that I use and post to. So I have my club, I have the district Facebook and the district Instagram. So I choose district Facebook and I'm going to say, wow, that's cool. And then I'm going to hashtag polio plus because the hashtag will allow this to be indexed by the social media platform. So if someone's searching for that topic, it'll come up. So immunizations and uh, rotary 5160. And then I look Oh, it's going to be posting on Wednesday, the 21st, you know, because that's the date I selected at 7.13 p.m. Well, I don't like that time. So I'm going to change the date and time. I'm going to make it a.m. And then I hit this one and it'll schedule. But I don't want it to post that because the post text is stupid. So I'm just going to save the draft and then it's going to be right here. It'll take a second for it to pop up and let's do the Instagram one. So here's the Instagram one. See, it's a square. So I know it's a different one. Plus it says Instagram post square right here. I'm gonna choose Instagram. Again, I'm gonna change the date and I could edit the design from here too, if I wanted to, or copy and magic resize. So I'm gonna change that to AM again. And then I could have copied and pasted. Actually, when I hit right here, I could have done the magic, copy magic and resize, but I like to do it you know, back in the big design thing where I have more options there. And then, you know, here it is again, hashtag yay. And then schedule, oops, I didn't mean to schedule. I can go back and delete. So I just scheduled that. So you know your draft because it'll have a little pencil, but what's actually posted to go will be colorful like these. So what we've done since we created the Instagram account is there's two versions of everything. So it posts at the same time, the Instagram and Facebook posts. The, the reason we're doing this is we're trying to target two different audiences. The Instagram audience square, uh, skews younger. And if you look at our Facebook stats, most of the people who are on the district Facebook page are 55 and older. 
So um, <laughs> we're doing, so what I'm going to do, because I don't want this to post, is I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete this post. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to delete this post as well. But it's as easy as that to create a post. Um, if you didn't want to use a template, you could do the same thing. Go to elements and you could say whatever you want. Someone throw out a word. Anybody, just pick a word. Cucumber. <laughs> okay, cucumber. So I am not a clip art fan. So I like photos. So we're going to photos. And so boom, cucumber. So, um, but let's say you want some kind of background. You could do, what would go good with green? Orange. I'm just making this up. I don't know. Is orange bad with green? We'll do red. <laughs> Your orange red. work. <laughs> we'll do red background. So as a pro member, I get access to everything that has a little crown on it. As a free member, you get things that don't have a crown. And see, some of these backgrounds are static. And some of these backgrounds are video. You'll know the video ones because they'll have like how many seconds. So let's say we want, hmm, let's do this one. So it's a video and you could size it a bigger than the square. So let's say I want, I don't want that bright part centered. I want it off to the side and then you position it. I want to send it back. Or no, that's a different one. So you can, I right clicked. I want to send it backwards. And then now I want text. So I come here. Oh, wait. Um, I could go uploads. So these are the things that I personally have uploaded. So I could add any of these things to this, but I'm choosing not to. So text. We could use one of their templates or we could create a header ourselves. But let's use this one right here. It says glow. And instead, we're going to say cucumber. <laughs> but that's too big. So let's make it smaller so that it fits within that space. And then, you know, I don't think pink is appropriate for cucumber. So um, we're going to change its color. So I think that yep. this color would be great for cucumber. Let's bring that up. Cool. But there's also effects. So we could change different effects here. Um, there's animations. So I want cucumber to come up from the bottom. And then you could add audio. You could add a logo again, that same part. So let's at that logo um, right down here. Wow. And so now this is going to be a social media post where the background will be moving and the word cucumber when someone scrolls to that post is gonna pop up from the bottom the way we had scheduled it. So it's gonna run as a video post instead of mm. as a picture. Mm. And you see how quick that was. Um, and like I said, I am not a Canva student, you know, this is just something that is almost intuitive and you can totally play with this. So we're gonna go back home again and this time we're gonna create a video, okay? Basically social media is moving to video. People, video is like the highest ranked thing that's seen on Instagram and Facebook. People want video. It's hard to create good video content until Canva. Canva makes it so easy to create video content. So again, we could search for things like baby eating. Oh wait, let's go to elements, sorry. Let's go to elements. So we're gonna search for baby eating. We're looking for videos. Mm. So we're gonna do this one see down here this is that video clip it's 19 seconds long i don't want it that long i could grab this little handle right here and push it 
so that this video, you can see the number it says 2.6, 2.3, so it's a two second video. And then I'm done with that. And then I'm gonna add planting tree. So let's just randomly pick this one. Whoops, I forgot to switch off of baby eating. So now let's, let's do that baby again for feeding baby. So we'll do this baby right here. So you see now these videos are back to back. So then what else? Uh, water well. So we'll do that. And then um, we're gonna make these really short. So we're gonna make them two seconds a piece. Oh, that's three seconds. No one's got time for that. And then if you go to this view on Canva, you'll see each of your segments, right? So we've got these three segments that we just use Canva to show us what's going on. So now we're back here. So if we come to the beginning of this video, we hit the go button and it's gonna play. People planting, baby drinking, water coming, well, water coming out. You can see it's kind of choppy. So you got this plus symbol. Either I could add, Canva calls it a page, but it's video. I could add a page like that, or I could add a transition. And so I like to do a dissolve between sections so it's not so choppy. So dissolve, mm -hmm. oops, mm -hmm. dissolve, dissolve, oh, come on. Oh, I have to move over here. Dissolve. And so, here, let's delete that. So now when we watch it, that two seconds is over, it kind of fades into the next, do you see how it did that? Mm -hmm. And so um, I want to add, let's see. Let's move this. See how you could just drag and move things? So if you wanted to rearrange your video clips, like what do you want to show first? You just physically move it. So let's mm -hmm. go to page one. So I want an intro slide, but I don't know how to create it myself. So I go intro video. So we could pick any of these kinds of things. So let's say that's our intro. And then I want text on top of it. So I'm gonna to go to text and my text is going to be, I'm gonna use glow again, cause it's easy. Um, road, whoops, I did two of them, rotary. And so let's make that our rotary colors. So let's do that and then let's get rid of that other glow rotary and then let's add in um areas of focus and let's make that white and let's make that bigger and then add an animation to these things So let's do that. And then this one, let's make that bigger. And then this one, we're gonna do that. We don't want it this long. Okay. Oh my God. My. There's our video. We just created this video in how many seconds? And then at the last last part, I also like to do maybe an outro. We're not gonna, whoops, we're not gonna take the time to do that now, but you have the same way you have an intro, you can do an outro. And you could, you know, do the same thing. And I hadn't been resizing, but um, you resize this, 
Mm -hmm. um, and let's just add a logo at the very end. And we're going to do a giant white rotary logo. So, oh, we should have done an animation. The animation really makes it, in my opinion. And we'll have to get rid of the word row. So we'll go here, play. And you could actually modify the animation uh, to change like the time to make it like a slower kind of or faster. You could make the transitions that happen um, slower, faster, different kinds of transitions. Um, so like this one, they kind of cross path. So we just created this in 10 minutes. Now imagine if you have snippets of video that you've taken from the past gala, people laughing, people eating, people drinking. You could have two second snippets of darn near every club member or the committee who put it on or your honored oh. guests. And you don't have to put, you know, your snippet of video might be 15 seconds long but you don't have to have a 15 second long video. You can crop from either side till you get to the exact bit of video that you want for this. And um, then you can download it, sh share it, or because we have that content planner, we could go home to that content planner. Once it's done, we could pick a date, whoops wrong thing we're going to pick a date and that last thing we created was that video we could select a channel put the time it's going to appear see it's an mp4 video and it's considered five pages but it's really five snippets of video you write something there and you schedule and post it it's that quick you guys this is a game changer if you've ever used iMovie oh and then um about this video I didn't even add any sound so if we go back to this video and we want to add over here you see this little musical note says audio and I want rock music and there's a bunch of different samples so let's do this one and when we hit play, sorry, it's thinking. <laughs> and you could change it like, oh, that song only makes sense for that part of the video. So that's going to go to here. And then you could adjust it too. So it can like fade audio effects. You could fade it in and out. So it doesn't start by blaring your ears out. So you're, it's gonna fade in, it's gonna fade out. Um, and then you go back to audio and you're like, okay, now I want this to switch here. And so now the song that starts from that section is this song. <laughs> I have to tell you it's a wormhole when I made I've made three videos in one sitting I spent more time listening to music samples than I took in making the video trying to find the right one it even has sound effects like you know explosion whoops and so let's say you know after that I want a bomb explosion So um, again, then when I'm done, I go back to my content planner and then I put it into my schedule or I can download it and I could share it like, oh, I, I don't feel comfortable putting this out to the world right this minute. I want another pair of eyes to look at it to make sure I spelled rotary right or that I'm using the correct logo. 
Um, so the, the two things that I really wanted to show you this evening were, you know, the fact that you could create your social media posts, posters, infographics or whatever, videos, and post it to social media using the content planner that you can upload all your brand elements. Even if you had like a logo, uh, not a logo, a jingle, you know, if you had a song that represented your club, a sound, all of that can be uploaded in here. And it's literally $120 if you pay for it and you don't try to do the uh, nonprofit. I've been told that the nonprofit thing is free, but we wanted to move so fast. We didn't want to go through a process of submitting our 501c3 or whatever it would take. We thought that $120 for five people to use this was a mm -hmm. great investment. And frankly, I am going to go on vacation next week and I'm going to shoot not just pictures, but video purposefully. And I'm going to create videos of my vacation that I'm going to post to my social media accounts. And there's different formats you could use too. So if you're posting to social media, you use a different video format. You see this, it, you make sure you shoot as a square. Keep that in mind as you're filming that you need to have a square um, mm -hmm. versus like the YouTube mm -hmm. or regular video, which is a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm going to be posting to, to social media. So I need to keep this perspective. Or if I'm doing a reel, it's a longer or a TikTok, it's a vertical or portrait perspective. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind when you're shooting your video, how you want to use it. And then um, you can manipulate it in Canva. And the nice thing too, is you manipulate your video. Your video might be this big, but the only part that you're really interested in is this little center part. You could stretch your video out so that what you want to focus on is almost like a close up. Um, so I am a Canva evangelist, you guys, <laughs> um, because this has been so easy for me having come from using Photoshop um, and Illustrator and InDesign. And even before that, I used Aldous Page Maker. That should kind of say how <laughs> old I am because that was... Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and play. Get the free version and play around. Upload your personal pictures. Add graphical elements to it. You can add writing on it. Um, if you have any video on your camera right now, whether it's your dog barking at an ambulance going by or a bird landing on a bush, upload it. Put some music behind it. Add some words. Go to the yeah. top. Animate the words so that they fly in or fly out or merge up. Oh my God. And then post it to your personal Facebook page. If we're not Facebook friends, let's become Facebook friends and tag me so I could see what you've created. Because mm -hmm. I think we're all super creative inside. Mm -hmm. And we just lack the tools, the education or whatever to make it real. But we don't have to have like painting classes now. We don't have to have videography classes. We could do this like right now, you guys. Like right now. Like if you have, if you've already eaten dinner, you're just sitting in front of your computer, <laughs> play with it. You download video from like someone's Facebook thing. You could download that to your computer. Um, so it doesn't even have to be your video. If your daughter posted something really funny and you wanted to mess with it, this would be the perfect time to do that. Well, thank you for your time, everybody. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Have a good night and remember to tag me when you create those videos or <laughs> social media posts or just email them to me. So, will do. Okay, Thanks. Guys, have Bye. a good evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.